<clears throat> Yo, many people have asked me about the uh, to the dead um, headphones about the deconstruction of it and since I'm gonna be starting Patreon soon and uh, making more detailed and uh, commented uh, deconstructions of my songs and also mixing and uh, just overall production tutorials and I will make a full deconstruction onto the YouTube here for free and you will um, you can be uh, expecting the patron to start soon so uh, yeah let's get into it so we have the project which sounds like this when everything is on like this so the tempo is 166 bpm and we have this song which is a beautiful song, a long song, uh, has a lot of nice uh, sample ideas, a lot of live instruments and vocals. It's, uh, well, I can't fucking read it. Uh, it uh, there's n not a word like this. So we have this original song, which we're gonna hear, but I'm gonna disable everything and mute the drums, okay? <laughs> recommend sampling songs that you already like uh, so it's like easier to work with it so we have this song uh, why is it not playing um, and it's not playing what the fuck okay because I yeah it's on the master so that's gonna be a little bit but we're gonna put it on the end enable everything and we'll disable the the volume so it should be good now yeah so the loop It's a Polish rap song by the way like Psycho rap or something samples are just in between like this is sample I believe and this it's important that the song is in 4-4 four four, or we would have to resample it to make it 4-4 four four, or try to make a sample in 3-4 which would make it uh, sound um, interesting but not how I would like to do it so. This part, which is also sampled, and this part, the yeah. So a few samples, right? And it's organized like this. Then the vocals are cut. What? 
Stop. Then again. sound and the pitch is changing And we have another, that's the other part in this, listen. So it's like loped because it would uh, sound... It would end go into another section and we don't want this so we kind of loop it like this it doesn't sound good on its own but when the kicks are covering it's just fine and it will be important Please keep it in your mind, we have a beat change, I mean, it's moved to the left by a half of the beat. So this would be a pain in the ass to DJ actually, but whatever. It's not designed for So as you can guess, the rest is the processing and the kicks. So uh, I will play everything without the uh, main sample right now. So we'll turn on the effects.
like uh, two channels for effects and every channel is put from through one effect channel specific to the is it a sample is it a kick or a snare or whatever and the master and they all go to the master so they like glued together and w I will just uh, disable the master and play those before the master effects it would sound weird <laughs> So let's not get lost, uh, right? Um, the melody. You have to cut the lows, period. Then I had to make uh, sure that the higher frequencies were standing out. Some reverb. Tremolator to make some room for kicks, so it's like call and response. Like it would sound bad without, I mean, not bad, but you know, let's listen with and without it. It sounds a lot cleaner, you know. The other tremolator is just like the uh, other rhythm. It's like one eighth note and it's one fourth, and it comes uh, later here. So, for the next effect. And of course a soft clipper at the end to make it like controlled. The flangers for the effect, of course, uh, it comes to play uh, here for example. It's not the flanger for it, wait. It's, it's for the kick. Do I have a flanger for fucking here i think for the intro for this for this right yeah yeah it's this it's this stutter effect and the same flanger comes for the other parts like for this sound uh here let's just have this channel So I believe that's almost the same, legit copied, but with some little changes. So I have more control over the sound because I want to like uh, make this one, for example, the first part of the sample uh, slowly go up in volume, like here. Listen. <laughs>
listen here the tremolator goes down so the effect is like war off you know and the other one is coming on so it's like a mood swing or some on something and the kick changes also so like we have one of the three kicks and they all will be linked and i will be Describing how to create them, of course, no problem. Um, this kick. Those kicks sound absolutely horribly without the processing. Like, listen. What the fuck is this? You know? They just have to get fucked by the uh, by these EQs and put to the wave shaper later. And those EQs you would practically have to balance it. So just like. Have the sub bass high somewhere uh, they need it, you know. Then uh, you basically color them from now on. I did start the song by uh, putting a sample down it's important to know the workflow right to put the sample down and I kinda just made the basic EQ to like uh, let's see I did this the tremulator of course something like this with, a, uh, with the basic snare without the hats and then I just put some put this, this, this and uh, a compressor I just made the kick channel but I started with the three, with those three just like looked how to make a kick you know, uh, to sound good like uh, all the German hard tech styles or whatever. Starting from this point, maybe. Then, like, boosting the highs to make the melody more prominent. Cutting the lows, I mean, uh, stereo. Adding stereo, more uh, distortion to make again more higher frequencies, especially for the melody and not the kicks right now. And the reverb to just make even more mess. I mean, you don't really have to make it clean or just worry much about it. Just whatever you feel like. The mixing techniques kind of got kind of get like lost here because all you want to do is not to make it too distorted to not being able to recognize recognize the sound but you want to like fuck someone in the head right in the ears so there's another kick <laughs> And all these kicks come from the one and only MPK whatever, 2K whatever the fuck, just uh, 20 something gigabytes of samples, hard examples. Everyone has it. It will be linked, of course, of course. I mean, uh, it's the sample. <laughs> So, for the sake of this video, 
I'm gonna make another kick. Just make a mm, add one arrangement. Let's get any Acer. And it's also being processed through the master we have here, so it's not the sound that's already like it's not the original sound because the master is uh, turned on switched on right so we can already when you have this on master we can already hear like kind of processing we want so let's just um, add a new pattern <laughs> Has some nice feeling. Let's just do this. Let's just add a snare and a hat, like a kid would do. And we can go lazy and try to put it on the other kicks channel, right? Or like even the melody channel. No, the melody, the bass is gonna, the bass is gonna be gone. that doesn't work so let's put it on the another channel do we have something that we don't want on no because there's something happening in the automation if I change the arrangement whatever so let's just try to make a kick right like the other ones I would do like some of a cross fading I would make it elastic to like generic or mono. Let's see. Press. Can you see it by the way? I don't know if you can see it, which I'm choosing. So I'm choosing the one beat. without the other effects so Wait. Uh, we can even try to make the same pattern like uh, like this something like this and let's just bring the sample back Just switch one tram later off. It's 
still too little of this kick. It has to be more. Let's just try doing this. Or with the same uh, settings. Let's fuck with those.
one. Something around this. So let's just try another distortion. Or like. this bass I think maybe it's the problem with oh why is it turned on oh wow <laughs> wow never mind wait let's just try and put this into the first arrangement where I have the fucking yeah that was turned off okay so let's just put it here in the context and we'll just start from here <laughs> Because I have here, I fucking I don't know. Let's try more. <laughs> band compressor and was what this no oh Saturn okay just put the band
turned off the tremulator. My fucking god. <laughs> Yeah, it sounds good. I wonder why it sounded bad. It sounds good. the pattern but that has fit the, the song Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, it works. Let's try to put it here. explain why why we have this beat change so the tremulator works like this when he sees that uh, uh, that the beat is changing he will start like basic based on the pattern either playing not play play not play or like triplets or whatever and we didn't change when it starts and it kind of says says do a side chain do a side chain do a side chain and we made this beat switch just for it that the kick and the song hits for the like the same time and it makes it even harder it makes like this mood shift i mean not mood but the groove shift <laughs> it's more like one two three four and not like one and two and two and three and four right it's like one, two, three. There's no difference, but it certainly was when I when I did it. Wait, you have to control Z. So yeah. That's how this project is made. It's really simple, but you have to like more dig into the um, sound design or however you want to call this process of making this kick and just like exploring the sound until you find something that you like. And then you will just have to uh, go into the pattern, clone the pattern, do something like this just export it and it's exported in in my go to samples that I have in my comfort zone and those kicks are It's nice to just make a project for it and then just like try to mess with the BPMs and try to make other um, other kicks. By the way, this song sounds good in other BPMs as well. Like, let's just make it 190.
I might do a faster and like extended version or something. Mm, maybe more kicks or something. So use your project that you created a nice kick on or some or, or, or whatever and just do more, print it and just use it later because those kicks are used in the latest project. I mean not not the latest but in the mm, he left us project by the way those three were just mixed um differently yeah and that's a little taste of patron and what i will be doing for a small fee so for a small donation yeah have a nice one and if you watch the the whole video i'm really proud of you by the way yeah have a nice one